Welcome to another training video from the Enphase Learning and Development Team. Today's lesson will teach you how to manage the RMAs and labor reimbursement for your company. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to recall how to initiate an RMA using Service Manager, explain how to search for a specific case and RMA number, list the steps to file for labor reimbursement, and track the status for the reimbursement. There are a couple of ways to access Service Manager, from the website directly at enphase.com service or through the installer portal under the Service Manager quick links. Use your Enphase login credentials to access the tools. Once logged into the application, you can access the RMA dashboard by clicking on the link on the left side of the screen under RMA Dashboard. The dashboard gives you a single place to monitor and track all RMAs. The RMAs are grouped by their status within the RMA process. Clicking the RMA status group will filter the RMAs and display them in the table below. Clicking more than one group at a time will filter all of the RMAs with the specific statuses selected. The updated filtered list will show in the table below. Clicking on the RMA number in the table will take you to the details of the RMA. Submitting an RMA case is easier than ever with Service Manager. Create an RMA case by clicking the Create RMA button in the upper right corner of the screen. Fill out the required fields and press Submit. Pay close attention to the device serial numbers you select. Once the RMA has been submitted, a new case number will be assigned so that you can track it. You can easily find what you're looking for using the search criteria. The RMA search option is used for cases that have been approved for an RMA and have an RMA number. Select the RMA option and enter the RMA number, not the case number, to see details. The case option will search for any cases you submit before an RMA number has been issued. System name will search for all cases and RMAs associated with a specific site. System ID searches the same way as system name, but searches by the system ID. Serial number searches for any serial number that's associated with any cases and RMAs. Once an RMA number has been issued, use the search criteria's RMA option and enter the RMA number. The case with the associated RMA number will display all details related to the case. At the bottom of the screen, you can see when the replacement product has shipped with the tracking number. Service Manager makes labor reimbursement super easy. In the following sections, you'll learn how to apply for and track the labor reimbursement for qualifying RMAs. The Apply for Labor Reimbursement button, located on the upper right corner of the screen, is for approved RMAs. Not all RMAs are eligible, so you'll want to refer to the Labor Reimbursement Terms and Conditions document to check your eligibility. Validate the pre-filled labor reimbursement form and correct entries as needed. Scroll down to the end of the Labor Reimbursement Request page to find forms that require your signature. Download, fill in, sign, and upload the forms to complete your request. Then click Submit. Once the reimbursement has been accepted, you can track the status during the process. Clicking on the Track Labor Reimbursement button on the top right corner of the case will take you to the tracking details of the request. On the tracking page, you can track the status of your requests throughout the process, view the estimated payment date once approved, and view the check wire reference number and the reimbursement amount once the request status changes to paid. If you have any questions, you can use the Contact Us or the chat option at the bottom of the screen to reach out to us. Now that you've watched the video, you should be able to recall how to initiate an RMA using Service Manager, explain how to search for a specific case and RMA number, list the steps to file for labor reimbursement, and track the status for the reimbursement. Thanks for watching.